Hello, Harry. Professor Dumbledore! I thought you'd been suspended. Lucius Malfoy had threatened to curse the board if they didn't remove me, but they decided to stand up to him. Now that the heir is gone and the basilisk is destroyed, they know Hagrid is innocent too. He'll be back in his hut soon. What about Lucius Malfoy? Will he cause any more trouble? I doubt it. We can assume it was him who got the diary to Ginny. He daren't do it again unless he wants the Ministry of Magic after him. About Professor Lockhart, I'm afraid he's lost his memory. Oh dear, what will he think about now that he can't think about himself? Just don't give his job to Professor Snape. He's too, um, valuable as a potions teacher. You've all performed brilliantly. It must have been a terrible experience. It was. We spent much more time in a girl's bathroom than I would have liked. Being petrified was awful, but I learned a great deal from it. I'm going to write a paper about it for extra credit. When you've got your friends to help you, you can accomplish anything. And nothing is too awful. Well, almost nothing. Looking like Goyle came close. There's a banquet waiting for you downstairs. What do you propose for the first toast? To friendship. Loyalty and courage, but a friendship most of all. The rest of the final term passed in a haze of blazing sunshine. Hogwarts was back to normal with only a few small differences. Defense against the dark arts classes were cancelled and Lucius Malfoy had been sacked as a school governor. Draco was no longer strutting around the school as though he owned the place. On the contrary, he looked resentful and sulky. On the other hand, Ginny Weasley was perfectly happy again. This is our last day at Hogwarts. Yeah, the only thing left to do is the House Cup ceremony in the Great Hall. If you have anything you want to do at Hogwarts, you'd better do it before you go to the House Cup ceremony. Brother told me that a tiny swatch of bat fur in each shoe will keep you from getting blisters during Quidditch. Hello, Harry.
Charms classroom. I'm in the transfiguration classroom. I wish the real heir of Slytherin would make herself known. It could be a girl, you know. Oh. 
I beg your pardon? This year, Mr. Potter. Safety first, Harry. Safety first. If you're ever not feeling well, be sure to come and see me. I'll fix you right up. I can't chat right now, Mr. Potter. Good day. Shouldn't you be in class, Mr. Potter? If I get some patience, dear, you'll have to make yourself scarce. Hello, Harry. I'm Madame Pomfrey, Hogwarts nurse. Are you injured? Thank goodness you're all right. of non-magical cricket balls. Ah, uh, I think I ate too many Bertie Bot beans. Better Gryffindor than Slytherin for the house cup. But better Hufflepuff than Gryffindor. Hello. Watch where you're going. You are trying my patience, Potter. garden. She learned a lot from Professor Sprout. My favourite class is Herbology. Harry. It's a great day for 
for a Quidditch match. The whole season has been pointing towards today's Quidditch match between these two traditional rivals. The pitch is ready, the quaffles are polished, the bludges are humming, let's play Quidditch! has moved into the trench surrounding the pitch. Yeah!